All right, hey everyone, welcome back to the fourth episode of OS Dev Gardening, um, where we do very chill and relaxed operating systems development. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do the full intro last time. You can watch other videos, um, like the last video too, to see it. But we're just, yeah, we're about just kind of relaxed operating systems development. That's not too intense, not too hardcore. Just trying to keep it a bit ed educational um, and just make a bit of progress every time on this little OS, uh, which I'm not starting from scratch from. And the journey we're on right now, i just pop over to the mirror board. Um, where we're looking at stuff, but we're still trying to do, we're in this create directory structure kind of like project. Um, and for the last two episodes, we've been focused, the last two streams, we've been focused on just extracting the kernel directory into its own um, directory. And as of the last as of the last one, we've finally done this. Um, everything related to the kernel. Although mem IDE, what is mem IDE? Maybe, maybe not. It's so fake. You know, it's always kind of hard to know what's going on because I just don't know this code base very well. Mem IDE. That just sounds low level to me. And it's related to this memfs objects thing, which I don't even know what the memfs is. Okay, there's this comment that tells me. Kernel memfs is a copy of kernel that maintains the disk image in memory instead of writing to a disk. It is great for testing the kernel on real hardware without needing a scratch disk. So it actually is a kernel. It's definitely related to the kernel. And um, it's definitely related to the kernel. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. So the reason this has not come up yet is because I have not tried to build the kernel memfs target at all. And it, if I try, it's going to not work. Uh, wait, what the? OK. This is a huge gotcha for me that I am now starting to kind of, I need to, I need to make sure my environment is already is always set, which I can easily forget um, if I'm making new Tmux panes. OK. So, that actually worked better than I would have thought. Okay, it's be, but because we, um, okay, so we, kernel LD. So first step is we need to add this. And now it's going to build. No. What? Anything else? Okay. fs.h. Whoa. Where did that come from? <laughs> fs.image. Needed by makefs. Um. Both the kernel and user programs use this header file. That sucks. Hmm. Well, maybe, maybe, yeah. So I need some kind of, like in the Linux kernel, this is known as the U API, I believe, which is in the kernel source tree. It's like a folder with headers that eventually get exported to user space somehow. And maybe this is some equivalent of this. User space needs to know. So this is all kind of messed up. Um, hmm. 
no rule. So this is all this is also related to something that's that's coming up for us, which is unbreaking user space, because in the whole process of our kernel port, I think we kind of have totally just broken user space. Um, <clears throat> Make best at C. Yeah, this is a problem though. <laughs> yeah, the whole project was so simple and just could rely on the fact that everything was in one directory, which simplified the build system a lot. And now we need to do dumb things. Current, oops. Uh, kernel dir, which I don't really want to do hmm I'm yeah I'm curious one thing I kind of don't want to do with this project is look too much at other projects also I kind of want to try solving my problems myself from first principles um, and seeing where that gets us and testing my knowledge basically so I'm sure all like all of these problems are solved elsewhere but I'm just going to try to use what I know. Um, that might be a bad idea. That's there's a, there's a lot of reasons why that might not be a bad might why that might not be a good idea. Like I might just stunt my knowledge for no reason. But I but first I want to give it a good shot of my own intuition and my own knowledge, and then I'll I'll take away other other projects and see how they do it. Um, Okay, open. Oh, create. Ag .h. Functal. user dot age that's the only thing so kernel manifest is no is not building because it needs it's trying to do make fs and building make fs is failing because open what is it int open or something like that That's why. Yeah, I don't know what's user.h is the is basically just the single file that represents the user space libc in a product in like a an actual a real system, it would it would be many, many different header files. Um, but in this ultra simple OS user space just has one header file to include for system calls and the library calls and that's uh, user.h so the problem is that we need to also do this like unhygienic thing for the moment um, where now I don't understand that Best on C. <clears throat> I don't get it. Call to undeclared function open in makeFS.c. Oh, but wait, wait a sec. Is that just a bug? It's missing the type def. This also reminds me, I need I, should, I need to get my automatic clang formatting going. On save. I don't think it's automatically happening. No, it's definitely not happening right now. So I, I need to get that configured. 
just for quality of life because I'll just I spent all that effort to clang format everything and now I can just completely mess it up and and uh, I won't notice so what about now there we go oh that's bad what is happening why is it using my system tool chain that's super bad oh it's speak oh what the it's because it's just calling gcc i ha i totally don't understand what's happening what is this is this intentional that it's not using okay so we have this tool chain for building the kernel and 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 also user space user space should definitely also right where are these programs built why can't i just why can't i why is why isn't that obvious where the user programs are being built is it here yes it's here it's um ulib u programs so need blank dot o so again i'm using that rule I think it's the implicit, yeah, it's the implicit build rule, which implicitly uses CC, I believe. Um, but what is MakeFS? And who is using MakeFS? And why? So it's really a C program that runs on the host. So was this ever working? I'm not sure this ever worked because I never... Um, but okay, so it actually maybe was intentional that it didn't include. Oh, but yeah, so the the giveaway is that it has all these actual real headers. So MakeFS is really like a it's truly a, a program that's meant to be built and run on the host machine during the build process, but it requires knowledge of the OS, which is interesting. It like straddles both worlds. Um, so what, what is the error? Um, so I just need to, a man to open, what's the funk tool, right? Yeah, it's like why, uh, that's included. So what is the problem? Oh. Hmm. Under oh, it's sheesh. This is so complicated. Call to undeclared function open. It's not finding the proper header. Is it? What's the error? Undeclared identify O create. Header. What header file is this in? Yeah, it's it's in O. All this stuff should be in this, in the funk. I have no idea how to pronounce that. All that should be in this header. So why is that not working? That is frustrating. Did this ever work? That's the real question. Did this ever work? 
I'm just going to um, make a temp commit and check out back here. So this is our nice, safe uh... Okay, this is what I was doing previously to test that things work, which is build things. Okay, yeah, so we're here. And the question is, did this ever work? Yes, that actually did work before we got into this whole mess. So we broke it. Good to know. Uh, oops. But how the error is different. What kernel MFS? Hmm. This is frustrating. It's this thing. What if I get rid of this? What's the error again? That's not H not found. If I copy current.fs.h, mm -hmm. yeah, just just for fun, what happens now? Types.h is not found. Why did this work anyway? Why did this work before? Um, yeah. So now here's where I want to have another checkout, which I'm going to write an OS, write an OS to, just write an OS to, <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Oh, get stash. So, fly mark. Start H. Okay. No, this is not. This is just not the. Am I? <laughs> oh, what is going on? Man, I don't know if I'm going insane. I could have sworn this just built. That's weird. That's weird. I don't know what's going on there, but that's weird. It just built and it just didn't like it's yeah. Okay. Going back here, then make file. For some reason, this just works. over there. Something about this is just working. But over here, in our current one that we're trying to, <laughs> trying to, f uh, that's the H. Okay, just making sure that fs of h is not dynamically generated. But why? So first off, it's weird that fs.h is listed as a dependency of the make fs target. Like what? Like what? Huh. 
Huh. That's yeah. That's just weird. That's not H. Um. Hmm. Anyway, but it is working here. It is definitely working here. No question about it. So to figure out why, right, made clean, it's not the environment that's changing anything. Yep, okay, so now we go back over here, a clean, and we do the exact same steps. We make sure our environment is sourced. Clean, make kernel manifest. Hmm. This is a different error. This is simply a different error. file included from memide.c. Redefinition. What is it? What is going on? This is, this is a totally different error than the one we were just seeing. Am I being like sloppy or something? Maybe. Um, what is happening? In file included from memide.c. So we're trying to build memide.c. That's what's happening right now. We're able to do this because memide.c is still in the root directory because we didn't move it. And memide.c requires a bunch of header files. It requires the fs file. The file included. This smells like a pragma once issue. Buff.h. But I was quite confident that I added pragma onces everywhere we needed them. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm being I'm being yeah, I'm <laughs> being stupid. Uh it's because I had copied it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's also this thing, this stash I forgot about that we wanted to add. Uh, hmm, I'm, I'm just going to save that for later. Okay. I feel like we're close though, but this is just getting kind of weird. Okay, now we're back here. FSH file not found. There's a very simple solution for this, which is dash I kern, right? 
that gets us back to where we were. Which gets us back to here. Doesn't make sense. What happens if I move this down? This is the include that open should be in. I wonder if specing any dash I flag at all causes GCC to forget and not use its defaults. Um, maybe I'll just chat GPT, how to, how to make GCC print its include paths. Okay. Okay, I see, got it. So, let's see. Okay, I don't know what that just. No, but that's totally like. Also, did that just work? I don't, I'm not sure. Did that, did that work? Not there. What about now? Okay. Oh, oh, oh I see. It. That's stupid. Okay. The okay. The dash. Oh, is the issue that kern also includes its own version of functional.h? Oh, gosh. So the issue, man, the issue is that we have injected our include directory first in the order which means that GCC is going to look here and find functal.h, our kernels functal.h first. This in our OS doesn't have the open functions uh, declaration because our OS is weird and, and our OS has it in user.h, but the the GCC stops there and it's like, okay, got your file. It doesn't have the declaration you're, look, you're looking for. Compiler error. Okay. Uh, so, uh, okay, so now we understand that. Man, I feel like this stream is just, it's not even, it's like not, it's like not OS development in the sense that we haven't written any like C code yet we've completely just been fixing the build errors and debugging compile errors. And newsflash, that's, um, that's kind of what software development is, is about, <laughs> low key. Um, great, so now we have achieved understanding of the problem and we can try to solve it. And also, how did that even work? Okay, 
the solution. So it worked before. It didn't have this. FS.h was was in here. Uh, there was no weird stuff injected into the include paths. So GCC was able to find all of the system includes just fine. And also make this was able to find all of its. So we don't, we do not need this. This is also bad. FS.h is also in the same directory. So it could just find that trivially. What I kind of would want to do. This is just such a weird thing to do. It's program straddles both worlds. It needs stuff from from the host, but also from like the the target's OS OS system. And <laughs> it it needs fs dot h. Hmm. Is this okay? Let's back up though. What is the problem though? We were I was trying to move fs dot h out of. Is that what happened? Yeah. Um. Soft reset. Oops. So let's really look back at what happened here. Dumb. Where is fs.h? <laughs> Current fs.h. Git log. Okay, that got that got moved there because it because I thought it was part of the kernel, which it like kind of is. So it's been there for a minute. And that's part of what broke things. Um this file needs that header. For the moment, in this situation, we have left the files that are shared between the kernel and user space in the root directory, such as types.h. So if we undo that change and move it back here, this should just now we need to now we need to revert. So we just have this temporary policy for the moment while everything is all messed up. What? <laughs> Everything is totally messed up. Current, am I, what am I doing wrong? That's the H. Hello? Am I editing the wrong, what is going on? Why are you saying a hey, clean? Types that H is not found now. Oh wait, what? I moved types that H into the kernel though. I'm stupid. Uh, revert, discard, discard. All right, this is a bit of a painful stream. I feel like to be watching. Just watch me debug compiler errors, but we're very close. Very close. Um, Feels like we're due for a break though. All right, it's in three in three minutes we have the, the stand up break. <clears throat> we're very close. We are very close to figuring out this issue. And in the process you learn about <laughs> learn quite a bit about how stuff gets built. So we backtracked a little bit. We're back. So kernel houses types.h and fs.h. 
make clean, make from FS. Okay, now we need to walk this thing back. Right? Now FS.h is not found, so now we do this. And now we're back here. And the problem was, the, so, so, so one solution is how do we, can we get this, can we get the current directory to be injected last? I'm gonna ask ChatGPT. How to, to, to add and include dir to the search path, but last in the search order. Oh man, this is, I've never even seen this before. ID Ider after is that even real? Did it just hallucinate that? I think it hallucinated that. That yields no results on Google. Or does it? No, okay, that is a uh, that's real. I've never even seen that before, but I think that would solve our problem, but I don't want to use that. I've never even that's so strange. But the problem is hmm. <sighs> All right, well, I'm going to try it. <laughs> I dare after Kern. I am very suspicious of this. But that worked. User space continues to be broken now. Uh. Uh, but only for test CPP, which is a bit of a weird thing that I just added. It also uses, if I do this, does that help? No, that does not help. Why does that not help? Types of age, which is now in the kernel. Oh, it's because it's, C, it's a CPP file. And I did not... Yeah, so it's just like kind of brittle, like all over the place. Definitely not a great quality build system or code base at quite at this point. But okay, now we've seen this problem before. Entry.o is included multiple times for some reason. Entry.o. Yeah, entry.o is no longer needed here. I think. Oh, or, or here. It gets implicitly mem ide mem ide is also some for some reason being passed multiple times which is strange because it appears once here Multiple definitions. IDE.C. 
Oh, what? Ooh, okay. I see, because it, fil it didn't filter things out anymore. I think this will do it. Yeah, that does it. Jeez. Okay. Quite brittle. All this work just for this kind of thing. I don't really know what it is, but I'm just trying to not break too much. But also maybe a reason to like delete things aggressively before you start doing big ports because um, if you don't, then your port will break them and you might need to fix them even though you don't care about them, which is the case with this memfs thing because I don't really understand what it is. But I kind of didn't want to delete it just because I didn't know if it might come in handy. So, okay, we fixed kernel memfs. Okay, break time, 20 seconds. Okay, we so we went down that this whole long rabbit hole of fixing kernel memfs because I was curious if we broke it or something like that. I don't even remember. Um, we ended up down that rabbit hole because we were doing this kernel kernel target stuff. Um, no, it was, it was because of the mem IDE file, which was suspiciously still in the root directory even though it seemed like a kernel file and we were trying to remove um all kernel stuff yeah so yeah this is getting kind of messy yeah i hate that this is the actual solution that we need to fix the build. But it really doesn't work otherwise, I think. Okay. Well, today I learned something that is a very interesting GCC flag that I've never seen before for including directories at the end of the include list. Interesting. And just curious, I kind of, I, was, I just kind of forget how I did this actually. Support angle brackets include, how? I actually don't get how this, all I did was dash i dot. And you're telling me that's how that works? I don't, I, uh, I kind of, is that really? I don't know. I thought it was the I system thing or something like that. But, um, okay. So let's, okay, so one thing is kind of clear. So this hunk belongs in the commit that did a similar thing for um, make file and which is I think this do I have get k? Uh, yeah, nice. Yeah, get, get k is very old school kind of tool, but it uh, can be useful sometimes. Make file for browsing blames specifically. So yeah, this is where I add this and technically, technically C++ should have that too. So this should get amended into 
this um, make render commit. So I'm going to just do that. Okay, staged just that hunk. Now I go back here and amend it. And I think that just worked. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, there's no reason why that would conflict. Okay. <clears throat> Now, we're back here with this thing we were doing, which is making kernel memfs build, which we broke also in make kernder and move most of the build files there. So maybe that also gets amended in there. Huh. I think that sounds appropriate to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna do that. Conflict. What's the deal with all these conflicts? Okay. Why also why can't I find the conflict? Hello, what? It's in the make file, clearly. I have the make file open. Okay. Oops. Reset the file. Here it is. Okay. So it's gonna we're at some thing. We're trying to add this fix up. Of all this other junk. So let's see, what's the difference between the middle and the top? The difference is that we added this prefix to entry.o. That is the difference. Right, that is the difference. So we just need to do that over here. Or, or, uh, or rather, or rather, yeah, because I think this commit is going to delete that if I am correct. Bert, no, but. That commit, oh yes, that, that commit did touch this. It, um, oh, that commit actually added, wait a sec. The difference between this thing and this thing is that it, hmm, has these plain entry dot O. So I think I need to rep replicate that over here because over here, this commit is expecting to then add the prefix onto it. Yeah, I, I believe, I believe that's the call. Uh, mm -mm. So, but, okay. Tree dot O <clears throat> and then here and entry dot O. Okay. Hoping I did that right. Okay. And I'm getting good at I'm getting a lot of practice in <laughs> merge conflicts. Okay. What's the difference between the middle and the top? We added this kernel dir thing. Okay, what else? That is it. Right. Oh, no, we added, we had the kernel dir in front of IDE zero and the LD thing. 
that's a difference. And then on the LD line, again, the LD here. And I think that's actually it. So let's do that. This thing in my Vim register has, has come in super handy this whole time. Just easily add uh, that. Oops. Okay. Okay, so let's take the incoming change. It's a question. Does does this build? Uh, make clean. Make kernel. Please, please, please. Yep, make kernel memfs. Please, please, please. Nope. We still have a bug somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Uh, okay. And at least one thing here. Man, this is embarrassing, but this is the, this is the thing we just fixed. To reiterate, entry dot o. It's no longer needed. It was needed. It's no longer needed as of now. And it actually breaks the build to do so. What's it? What's it? What's going on? <sighs> okay, this is so this is so confusing. Yeah, I think this is just on me for get like confusing myself with um, the build, but this hunk. belongs in the commit that moves kernel.ld out, which is this thing. So I feel like this just gets amended, plain and simple. And then it's not building yet because we need to um, take all these entry.os and delete them. I did that a little bit sloppily. Oh shit. Okay. Does this does this work now? What did I do? Hmm, what? 
Okay. Kernel manifest. Okay. Uh, so this is just, okay. <laughs> That's an empty file. So, what is, uh, okay, I haven't, I must have messed this up. This should not be like that. This just should not be like that. I think, I think this is ultimately, <laughs> oh man, kernel manifest. Yeah, I think that is ultimately the state we want. I really need to get my delta. What happened to my delta pager? It, um, pager. Did I not, I don't have, I don't have delta pager set up on this computer for making the diffs a bit more readable here. Um, I could also use a different Git client. I have not, I've just been using lazy Git this whole time. But um, yeah, why not? <clears throat> yeah, let's take a, take a look at, switch it up a little bit, all right. I was just, okay, so, hmm. So some, I was just messing stuff up left and right here. So this is bad, <laughs> specifically this thing I think I was accidentally aiming for kernel to LD and I, so that's just straight up a bug. So, um, okay, so what? I think all of this just gets amended into this for starters. Yeah, now let's take a look at this commit. Uh, um, yeah. Entry to O. A lot of stuff moves away. This gets Oh, I even messed up the uh, alphabetical ordering. <laughs> well, just real quick. Uh, what? Okay. There we go. Amend that. Nice. Okay. Entry to O. We're prefixing a lot of things with the kernel dir now, now that they all live there, like we were doing with basically a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. And notably, we need to now remove references to entry.o because now that it's in objs, having it multiple times causes errors. So that's what this um, is about. Removing some stuff here and from here and from here. Yep. Entry to O. Entry to O is removed. <clears throat> All right, well, so much time in the build, but 
Now, what, what, like, where did that get us? That got us with stuff going into Kern as it was, but, um, yeah, but our mem IDE thing was like a little bit broken. So now we could consider even movement, even moving mem IDE dot C into Kern, which I'm going to do. C into Kern. And now that we are experts in the memfs part of this thing, we can have some higher confidence with what to do with this. So I need that object file. Okay, actually, in this current state, it's not going to build because mem IDE is no longer going to be implicitly built by that rule, I believe. What the? Okay, it built. I, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Uh, yeah, who knows why it built? I mem IDE is not in this list. So it's not getting automatically built. I thought. Um, okay. Mem IDE somehow. Did that really just happen? That really just happened. It's like working. I wish I kind of knew why. Filter out this thing. Uh huh. But why did that build? If it's not in this list, which it's not. I'm IDE. Somebody's building it. Hmm, maybe it's, well, okay. I think hmm. the thing I just said about it not being in this list is a nonsense comment. What Being in this list doesn't mean anything. It's just shorthand for declaring a list. The thing that helps the, these O files that, that get built is just their path being declared. <clears throat> um, if the path to the O file is declared, and then if a C file is also in that path, then it just compiles it and it works. All right, break time. That's why, that's why. So it works just because we moved the C file into the kernel dir, and then now we've declared this path. And that's all. Nothing to see here. All right. Oops. Clean, it, clean this up a little bit. All right. This all gets amended into here as part of that transition. Nice, so we now have our nice, so far it's, it's two commits, maybe it could even be one commit of just like kind of this move, but it's like move, move all the basic objects and then move all the exceptions. 
I think it's, these are both, I think it's reasonable to keep them separate. Um, yeah, I think it's reasonable to keep them separate in the history. Um, all right, well, maybe we will call it there. Um, and I'll cut it there. And that will be an episode. Always nice to reach a kind of an end point with these. But now we, we've done it. We, that was like painful build debugging, but we, we got a kernel building, got the kernel memfs going. And just to check, does does the chemo thing run? Chemo runs. So yeah, even though that was a little bit painful and um, I made a bunch of mistakes, it feels good to kind of overcome that. And even though from a surface level, it seems like we have done absolutely nothing because <laughs> we still have this kind of mess, we did make a bit of progress because we moved the rest of those kernel files in here. I mean, we kind of did it last time, but now we really did it with memide.c. And now I have a stronger understanding of some of this memfs stuff, or at least how to fix the builds and this makefs thing. This is, this is still technical debt. Hmm. Okay, this is okay, this is like tech debt in a bunch of ways. Um all right, can I just do get k here? What does that get me? Um yeah. Where did we adjust? Was it in this commit that we adjusted? So technically this should have used the variable that could be amended and a comment added. Okay. That's what we will do. <clears throat> okay. We actually include the kernel dir in specifically the last position because if it were in the first position as I does host GCC would look there and there and find our kernels functal.h which is immature and doesn't have open to Um, requi requires open to and the build fails by putting it last <clears throat> like first dot C putting it last the host system functional dot H is found but fs.h can also be found inside kernel dir. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know, there, there's probably some solution for this, but um, yeah, just trying to, just trying to keep moving forward and not get too bogged down for too long in these issues. So we will accept the technical debt in our garden and, uh, and move on. So this gets amended into the first one. Which, yeah, just to confirm that. 
make file got this nice thing here with a variable so that's looking good all right i think we can call that a stream thank you for watching um again make sure to check out the detailed uh timestamps in the description and i will see you next time